So we've talked about enteroviruses, and now we're going to talk about a genetically unrelated enteric virus called rotavirus. And this, together with norovirus, is one of our two bucket diseases. So in one sentence, what you need to know about rotavirus is that it's the number one cause of severe diarrhea in infants and little kids around the world. And actually, it kills. It kills up to 200,000 a year, mostly in developing countries. Now let's go a little more in depth. So we know it's an enteric virus, so it's going to infect the GI tract. And what are its symptoms going to be? Well, looking at this picture, it's pretty obvious. We know there's going to be diarrhea and vomiting, but specifically, it's going to be non-bloody diarrhea. And then it can also cause fever. Now, the incubation period is usually about two days, so you're not going to see symptoms right away. And once you do get symptoms, they'll last about a week. So then you might be wondering, how does rotavirus kill if it causes diarrhea, vomiting, fever? And the answer is the diarrhea, because the diarrhea gets so severe that it causes dehydration to the point that kids die. And the next question, I guess, is why is the diarrhea so severe? Now, there's a lot of answers to that, but one of them, which is pretty interesting, is that rotavirus actually produces an enterotoxin. So that's a protein that's toxic against the gut. And the reason that's interesting is that usually bacteria are the ones that produce enterotoxins, Viruses usually focus on proteins that are necessary for reproduction and creating new virions. So it's lethal, but the good news is we have commercially available vaccines. And they're actually really effective at reducing the severity of rotavirus infections and preventing the infections. So there are two kinds of vaccines, but all you need to know is that both of them are oral live attenuated vaccines and that one of them should be used in routine immunization of all infants. Because they're oral live vaccines, they elicit gut immunity. But the thing is that even though they're very good, they actually don't protect you against every rotavirus strain because the rotavirus can undergo reassortment. So what is reassortment? What are we talking about? Well, rotavirus, like influenza, has a segmented genome. So that means if we look inside the virus, what we're going to find is multiple segments of genome. Although unlike influenza, rotavirus is double-stranded RNA instead of single-stranded RNA. So because rotavirus is segmented, that means it can undergo reassortment. And to remind you, reassortment means that when two rotavirus viruses, two different strains, infect the same cell, they can mix and match the pieces of their genome and produce entirely new strains. So luckily, the vaccines cover for multiple different strains and viral types, but not necessarily every single one. Now let's talk for a second about side effects. So all vaccines can have side effects, we know that. And in the case of the rotavirus vaccine, you can get some mild GI symptoms, but the real thing to worry about is that there was an older rotavirus vaccine that was actually pulled from the market because it seemed to cause intussusception. Intussusception. Now, what is that? That's when part of your bowel telescopes into itself, and that can actually cause intestinal obstruction. Now, this is something that can happen to babies unrelated to the vaccine, and it's unclear if the newest vaccines increase the risk of intussusception or not. If they do, it's a really small increased risk. So definitely get your kids and your patients vaccinated. Remember, two buckets.